Don't you think it's incredibly quiet? The world has gotten quieter. It's like somebody hit the stop button and everything just came down. Super, super quiet. So we're, we're in the midst. We're in the midst of this worldwide pandemic. <laughs> Horrific pandemic. And yet, <laughs> the, ups, the upside is <laughs> the upside is that my hi-fi sounds so much better. It is. It's like somebody hit the stop button and everything everything calmed down here and <laughs> the city that never sleeps. We used to call New York City the city that never sleeps. It's because it's always moving. It's always buzzing. There's always activity. There's always noise. There's always people. There's always cars, trucks, cabs, sirens. Not now. My wife said just before I started shooting this video that she's only heard two sirens today passing by my apartment here, our apartment here in downtown Brooklyn. That's amazing <laughs> because sometimes it'd be sirens every few minutes it's, and now <laughs> two in a day so far. That's incredible. But, you know, because uh, uh, so, someone pointed it out to me and yeah, it's so quiet. And they said, no, no, it's not just us. It's not just New York City. The world is quieter. It is immeasurably quieter right now than it was before the pandemic. So in terms of man-made sounds of cars and trains and planes and buses and factories, uh, trucks going across highways, all of this energy going into the earth, the earth itself, the crust of the earth is quieter than it normally is. And I guess, and I was reading some articles in Nature, in the New York Times, and BuzzFeed, I will link to them below, that uh, seismic engineers and scientists are listening for earthquake activity and tremors. They're hearing more because the crust, <laughs> the earth's crust is quieter now than it normally is, significantly so. So they're hearing, especially in terms of research into this sort of thing of volcanoes, and they're hearing more. And it's analogous to what I'm hearing in some bizarre way, to my hi-fi. I can hear deeper into the music, the quieter parts of the music, the subtle things, the room sound, the ambience of recordings is revealed because it's not being masked by the outside noise that you hear on these videos a lot, the noise coming in through my windows. So in the middle of the day, it's, it's super quiet. And at night, it's even quieter. I mean, that is so freaky. And I use the sound pressure level meter, 29 dB. That's the average. I'm going to show you that picture on my meter, which is an app. Never, never happened before in all the times I've had that meter. Incredible. Now, I'm sure I, I want to hear from you guys if you're experiencing similar quietude in your life and in, in your homes and in, out in the world that this, because New York City uh, is desolate. I could look out my window. I'd see two people, uh, a car every now and then. That's, that, like I said, that's just never happened before. So uh, the other thing that's interesting is the, the power, the AC power coming out of my wall is quieter because there's less people here. A lot of people left New York. I don't know what the number is. 10%, 15% of the population is out. So there's less stuff. And of course, businesses that use computers and stuff, they're, they're gone for the most part. So it just brings the, the acoustic noise level down. The electrical noise level is way down. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm living in the middle of a science fiction movie. The, 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 the stop button has been pressed and we're all waiting. Wait, how do we get it back? I want to go back to normal where it's loud and noisy. It's, it's my comfort zone. I lived in New York City my whole life. I like that noise. It's not, it's not a problem for me most of the time. So to hear all this quiet, hmm, yeah. But it's making my hi-fi sound good. So that's some upside to this. And by the way, even planes, right? Uh, I grew up in a, in a part of New York City called Far Rockway, which was near 
JFK airport. And I was always hearing planes flying over. The amount of flights are way down too. So again, in terms of loudness, noise, sound that's put into the into the atmosphere is way down, right? So yes, it's it's strange. Uh, I yearn for a return to normal noise levels, but we're here. Be here now. See, I'm basking in this. I'm loving. I'm loving the quiet. But then I then I just it came flashing back to me that ah, two, three, four years ago at the Guggenheim Museum here in New York City, they had an art exhibit that was basically an anechoic chamber right at the top part of the Guggenheim. And it was a special exhibit. You only up to five people could go in at a time. You had to give them your phones before you went in. You were just there to to bask in the quietness, the quietude of that specially built room. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you that my room right now, without the uh, refrigerator running and without something going past my window, is probably as quiet as that room was. That's, I'm living it. I'm living in, uh, not literally an anechoic chamber, but a close approximation of of that experience of quiet. Process, I'm processing quiet. It's not a normal for me. So, uh, and I hope you are, wherever you are in the world, uh, doing the same, especially if you're an audiophile and, you're, and you're, your room is quieter than it usually is. What are you hearing? I want to know if you're having that same kind of experience as I am. Uh, tell, tell us, tell us all about that and what that, what that feels like for you. You know, at the end of these episodes, I always say thank you so much for watching, and I want to see you back here again very, very soon. Now I, now I, I, I do that again. I, I want that, but it, it has a deeper meaning now. I don't want to lose any of you. So be careful, be safe, wash your hands a lot. And I do appreciate the uh, well wishes, the support that I'm getting from you guys and comments and emails about Steve's Steve the Audiophiliac staying safe here in the epicenter of the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. And that means a lot to me. It's, it's great to hear from you guys, especially when you're saying such nice things. So thank you and back to you. Anyway, that's it for today. And yes, I really do want to see you, each and every one of you, back here again very, very soon. Bye-bye.